What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the International Farmer. We covered the TLX earlier this morning. Now we're going to look at all the new mods added for cross-platform today. We got a pretty nice little handful here and uh, some nice stuff. Yeah, let's check it out. What do you say? What do you say? So first thing we're going to look at is the John Deere CP770. And that's that bad boy right there. Pretty much, you know, pretty much like your the one that's in the game but you do have some tinted windows and a mirror option uh, but we'll take a little look at that real quick let's go into the options here it's gonna have 555 horsepower 1022 liter fuel tank 19 mile per hour speed uh, holds 10,000 liters just like the end game one 28 ton weight and makes the uh, big 238 cm um cotton bales six meter width six meter or six mile per hour working with and that's for harvesting cotton it's going to cost seven hundred and eighty three thousand dollars we got trailborg michelin continental midas we had a stein bkt back to trailborg the new things you're going to see are your design windows one design two slider tent more tent than pretty much blacked out so there you got four different window tent options. Mirrors, we have your normal, and we got the double. We got the double modern look. Back to your just single modern. So that's about it on that one. That is by Agro Tonho. And that is the CP770 John Deere Cotton Harvester. Next, we'll take a look at the Deets Far Starliner. 4045H pack by Vector Man. The Dutes are Starliner. Goodness. All right, let's take a little peek at that real fast. And it comes with a Starliner 4045H header and the Starliner trailer. 50000 for the harvester, 15000 for the header, and $1,500 for the header. You're going to be able to do your arable crops. You can do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, and corn. Weighs 8.3 ton. 5,200 liters is what it can hold. It operates at 12 miles per hour, just like the one in the game, and 160 horsepower CVT transmission. Uh, we got Trailborg, EKT, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Redestein, back to Trailborg wheel setup options we have standard and then wide tires so the wide tires actually make that rear look like that bkt same thing michelin same thing so it just kind of fattens them up a little bit uh beacon lights but design one design two which puts it underneath your uh, little top there, rooftop. Design three is gonna be on the back side. Design four, where's design four hiding? Where are you at? All oh, right here on the top right edge. Design five up here. <laughs> design six uh, underneath and on the back. Design seven, top right corner back. So a lot of beacon options. That's going to be some of the biggest changes. Design color, we got silver or green. Going to change the centerpiece here. Then you got your uh, license plate. Header. We got crop dividers, no or yes. It'll be an extra 500 bucks for that. And there's your trailer, which you can customize the license plate. And that's about it on that. All right, let's go check out what else is out here. We already covered the TLX, but for anybody that didn't watch that video, uh, go check it out. Um, just made that this morning. Well, I'll have it in the uh, little cards that flash while we're watching this video if you want to go check it out or watch it after the show. But we covered the TLX extensively, made a separate video just for it. That's by 82 Studio. Definitely, definitely want to go check that out. That is one of so many options to customize it. So uh, we're not going to cover that this time, but I did want to put it there because it's 
probably the hottest mod out today. Uh, next, we'll take a look at the Massey Ferguson 5600 series by CNG Mods, KRKZ Modding. And it's hooked up to the Marshall QM14 by John Deere 2450 and Matt XJS. So we'll cover both of these real quick. Your tractor is going to cost 55000 has a horsepower range between 100 and 130 horsepower. 180 liter fuel tank, operates at 24 mile per hour, weighing 5.4 ton. All right, we have standard configuration, 610 front K weight, front hydraulic option. Back to standard, we have Trailboard, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Redestein, Nokian, Trailboard. Wheel setup standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide and weights, wide too, they get even wider with the weights, narrow tires, rear narrow twin, rear big twin, twin front and back, and back to standard. Rooftop we have standard, then we have the GPS receiver, and panoramic roof, which is pretty cute right there. I like that. And then back to standard. Front loader attachment, no. Or you can put a Hauer on there, or none. So no quickie for that one, just the Hauer. Uh, engine setup, we have the 5610, which is 100 horsepower, then 110 horsepower, 120, 130, and back to 100. Color options. Got all your different massy colors here. Go orange, black. You can change the rim color, and you got quite a few selections. Pretty cool. You do beige, black, do some silver. Pretty sharp looking. And then, of course, your license plate. Very nice. Then we'll take a look at the trailer that it's hooked up to. That's the Marshall QM14. It's going to cost you 27500 Weighs 5 ton. And it hauls everything. All your crops. It hauls chaff, silage grass, manure, snow, salt, lime. It even hauls, I mean, it hauls everything. Everything you want to shove in there, you got it. Let's check out the customizations. We have configuration with no grain door. And with a grain door. Silage sides. Silage and grain door on the back. Or no grain door. There you go. Trailboard, Michelin. Continental, BKT, Redestein, Nokian, Lizard, back to Trailborg. Let's check out Michelin, see what kind of options we got. Standard, Standard 2, Wide Tires, Wide Tires 2, back to Standard. Uh, colored Mud Guards. If you look right here, the Mud Guards are colored, or you can do Galvanized Mud Guards, Colored Mud Flaps. Galvanized or no mud guards or flaps at all. All right, then we'll look at the lighting setup. We have standard, standard two, which adds lights up here. LED lights. And then LED two, you have extra lights up there. And back to standard. Ladder configuration, no ladders. Left colored, right colored, both colored, left galvanized, right galvanized, both galvanized, or no ladders at all. Beacons, we got none. Then we got your standard beacon, which I believe is right here. Yep, right there. And then you got your LED beacon, which is awesome, or none. Parts configuration, colored, galvanized. That's going to be your grain door, your, hydro your hydraulic or colored. All right, cover, yes or no. There's what it looks like with the cover on it. Very nice. And then your main color, you got all these options. You wanna make it look John Deere, go for it. Rim color, John Deere. There you go. Make yourself a little John Deere colored Marshall trailer and license plate configuration as well. Very nice. All right, so that's that. We got that covered. Now we're gonna take a look at this little cultivator over here. That is the Pottinger Synchro 3030 by STV Modding. 
Look at that. Let's see what category that's going to be under. That's a cultivator. Prepares fields for the next sowing. Make sure that's what category. Yep, it will be in the categories for cultivators. And that's by STV Modding. It weigh, it's uh, 1400 is the price. 14000 my bad. 15 kilometer working speed requires 110 horsepower, and it has a 3 meter working width. Not a whole lot of options for that. You got standard, or you got the extension. All the extension seems to do is have a different style of marker light. <laughs> All right, so there's that. There you go. Weighs 1.6 ton, and you can operate it at 9 miles per hour. Not bad, not bad. And then over here, we have a new weight. Right here, that's the Lizard SWG 200. And that is by Silo, well, it's called a Silo Roller Weight, and it's by Hoffy. Mr. Hoffy. That weighs $7,500. That weighs 1,700 kilograms and a two width working width. It's ideal for working in the silo due to the integrated roller, even better compaction can be achieved. Optionally, the roller can be replaced by tires or additional weights can be attached. The choice of colors for various parts offers maximum customization. Take a look at that in the store as well. Here you go, you got your steel roller, your red, black, steel. Which is pretty cool. Mount direction, front, rear, front or rear. So you can put it on the front of your tractor or a rear setup, however you want it. Weight, snow, there's 150, 300, 450, 600. So you can add up to 600 additional kilograms to the already 1.8 ton, 2 ton. 2.1 ton, 2.3, 2.4 is how heavy you can get that bad boy. Roller design one, or you can do the old tires there. Want the tire look? I kind of prefer that. And main colors, you can paint it whatever you want. There you go. Fancy schmancy. So we covered everything pretty much here. We're going to back out for a second and take a look at the other stuff that is more like your placeables. So let's go do that real quick. Go back to the main menu here. All right, so downloadable content. We're going to check it out. Show cross-platform mods only. All right, everything, like I said, we've covered is cross-platform. Uh, I did forget to download the lizard and show it but there you go this is the lizard s101 by dutch modding inc and it's two thousand dollars a simple blade can be used as a weight decoration or just to move materials working with 2.2 meters a few screenshots of that in action there it looks like you can paint it whatever color you want always nice to customize it all right next up we got the sugar beet cutter pack which I did download, but there's just so much to show you. So we'll just show the, sh the, the photos. It's by Corrado Farms. And this mod pack contains all the base game auger trailers. These have been changed to only accept sugar beets and will unload sugar beet cut through the pipe. Some screenshots. So you can pick up the sugar beet and then when you pipe it out of the auger, it cuts it, I guess. Interesting. So there you go. If you're wanting a quick way to cut up your sugar beets. All right, next up we have the DH Silo by DH Modding. That's easy to remember. Oh, a capacity of, does that say 5 million liters? Price is going to be 300,000. Maintenance 50 a day. And uh, pretty it's fancy looking there. Let's see if there's more information on it real quick for you. Uh, let's see. All right, not a whole lot of information on it, but uh, there you go. I imagine it, ho it holds pretty much everything you want it to hold. It's got a little indoor dumping site and holds 5 million capacity. DH silo. 
All right, next up, we got the Machine Hall by Didac96. A package of halls with dimensions of 60 by 30 meters. Hall with one door and concrete walls, 60 by 30, 60 by 30 with one door. And then hall with two doors. This is, they're all 60 by 30. The prices fluctuate. Here's screenshots of it. Nice modern looking machine hall there. Big. Fit everything in there. Right. All right. And then next up, we have the grass dryer. The grass dryer. This is the drying plant turned to grass into hay. I mean, is there more I need to say? That's by FIB7. And it uh, costs $55,000, $50 day maintenance, $2 an hour. Uh, cap capacity, 500,000 liters of grass, 500,000 liters of hay, and a production rate of 4,800 liters per hour. So you put your grass in, it turns it into hay. Not too shabby. All right, then we have the parking spaces. This is more for customizing your farm, decorating it a little bit. These are placeable parking spaces by Cookie Cat. And now uh, you got your prices listed there, starting at 750 all the way up to 3250 if, if you want six parking spots. And it, it is what it is. It's to park vehicles. There you go. Very nice. All right, then we have a couple updates. We have one, two, three updates. We got an update on the Fiat Agri 18090, which we've seen this tractor and covered it before. That's by Peppy978 and the FSI group. In the update, the only change is the fix, the front loader configuration. So front loader configuration has been fixed on the Fiat Agri 18090, if anybody was using that before. Pretty nice tractor there. All right, and then we have an update on the heavy duty shelf. And the change log says they fixed the shadows, objects didn't cast shadows, and the snow is removed. All right, that's by Der Mindener. A heavy duty shelf for the farm. It can hold up to 18 pallets, can be stored, and front loader tools. I like using those for front loader tools myself. Pretty cool. Keep your farm nice and organized. So that's the update fix on that. And then we have an update fix on the German road signs pack. That's by NRX Ecke. German Road Signs. The change log says they added sale. Release of the console version. Barks and barriers. Fence only light up at night. So now it works on cross-platform for you guys that want to have some signs for a little, you know, extra role play for construction or whatever it is you're doing on your farm. And there's some shots of it there. And these are all, you can pick them up. Your character will be able to pick them up, throw them in the truck. They're they're super light and you can always pick them up. That is everything today, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the International Farmer signing off. Enjoy all those new mods and, of course, the TLX Phoenix. Have a great day, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out.